<laughs> Hello. Ah, we're back after a two-month, not a two-month, a two-week hiatus due to the uh, Isedo Alpha Go match. Oh boy, what am I going to do today? Let's just... Uh, so today is a terrible day. It's awful and I'm sad because... Uh, Um, it's the election season in the United States, um, and so probably I'll be kind of a little bit uh, self-centered American and say that probably people have heard about Donald Trump being a clown and you know, that's kind of funny. Um, and also, it's kind of not funny, because it's scary, actually. But it's kind of funny, also. Um, but the the great American hope for, uh, for happiness and joy and spreading, uh, uh, you know, greatness throughout the land again is... Uh, Bernie Sanders running for the Democratic nomination, and he's been losing to Hillary Clinton, uh, but he had a big upset in Michigan a while back. Let's see. Um, not too long ago, it was a big upset in Michigan, the biggest upset, like in United States election primary history. Um, and then today was like a make or break day with five states and he had to, to to continue to have a chance he basically had to do he had to win three of them and not get crushed in the other two and the the early reports are showing that he's losing all five so sad times hopefully it, some of them are very early they're still like under 25 percent reporting so the votes could change dramatically um, or the totals could change dramatically like probably from the start of this broadcast until the end so maybe I'll check it a little bit later and see if there's better news but uh, this pincer is Anyway, so I was a, a big Bernie uh, supporter. I still am, because uh, he has a lot of great ideas, and I'm a young white liberal, so that means I have to side with him. This, this, yeah. Um, yeah, so hopefully things will turn around. Oh, that cut? No. Can white really play that in this situation? This cut is only supposed to come when white has support down here, like around N3, O3 area, not when black does. This... can't get too crazy but anyway this is suspicious um, okay so about the this game sorry I should uh, focus a little bit more so I'm playing against two cookies who's ranked 1Q on KGS uh, I have never played two cookies before I believe he I did a little bit of a uh, scouting report, and he was in the C League in January, and he won four games, lost one, so that was good enough to go up to the B League in February, and he again won four games and lost one, so strong showing in order to move up to A League for this month, so very well done. Um, and he had, in the B League last month, he had a win over Hagar who was in A-League for a while, so he's definitely uh, um, not to be underestimated, I think. But this, this J5 cut is, should not be good. 
And the H3 pincer also should not be good when black has O3. Because um, this variation, if white does the proper, the regular formation, then white extend, extend, and jump. And then O3 is in a perfect spot. Black just keeps pushing and presses white down. White gets like 10 points down here, and white get, uh, black gets a super thick wall facing the center. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, also the other reason today is a sad day is that, well, so I was kind of bummed out that Isado lost so many games. I was actually expecting five wins for AlphaGo. I don't remember if I mentioned that in the Yunkusang video, but that was my prediction um, beforehand, like right before the match started. I told a bunch of people. I told a bunch of people. So, uh, but I mean, I was wrong, but I did think that Isado underestimated AlphaGo. Um, but still... You know, only I I feel like only the third the third match was like not that was like kind of heartrending to watch. It was it was sad. It looked like he was in pain the whole game. Um whereas the first two and then the fifth game seemed much more reasonable. I didn't stay up la late last night to watch the fifth one, so I haven't thoroughly gone over it. But um it sounded like when I went to sleep, AlphaGo had made a bunch of big mistakes on the right side of the board and made black super thick. It was like 40 points in the bottom right plus thickness. So the game was definitely good for black, but there's still a lot of game left to be played. So um, it's too bad he couldn't finish that one out. I heard there were some questionable end game. Uh, moves. So, so this. Mm -hmm. So if I can't help this stone right away, can I? Because then cut, Atari extend. If I push out, then Atari and Hane, and it's trivial to kill these two stones. So. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. What's... Sorry, do I know your... I don't know your name in Yonkuseng. I don't think. Unless I'm just uh, completely oblivious. I haven't checked it. Okay, so the two options are L3 and L4. L3 is a little bit... Why gets this extension? I think I should play L4 because I don't want this extension to be crushing. This one, the clamp is annoying, but the clamp, uh, these four stones are going to get through over here anyway. So I'm going to play this. Maybe I should have played L3, but then that extension... Uh, I don't know. I should think about actually reading. <laughs> actually reading from now on. But I have to calm down because I was when I just checked the those election things, I was upset. <laughs> upset long stride. So this push I think I can cut and I kill the four stones, right? Okay. So here's a question. This one seems proper for the outside. This one and then here? Can I live inside? I think I c could. But maybe I play this one, white links, and then later I can still play C3, maybe? Or something weird like this? But I think I should play for the outside. Um, not this weird thing. This. And link? Oh, maybe this Atari and link here? 
Oh, that's actually intriguing. This Atari link, if I link here, white cuts, then I can Atari and Atari and push and shatter this. And if white doesn't, then white pushes out. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's better. That's severe. <coughs> What games do I personally study? Mm, I I don't really recommend studying professional games until you are um, at least Don level, I think. At least not modern professional games. Uh, I am a 5 Don AGA. I used to be dangerously close to 6 Don <laughs> last fall, but I haven't been studying very hard, so I'm probably more dangerously close to 5 Don now. <laughs> or more like solid 5 Don, not uh, like in the middle. I don't know. <clears throat> but I have been beating Josh, Starstorm, in Yunku Sang still, and he's a 6 Don, so eh, there's that. Um, but old pro games, like Japanese pro games from before the 1980s, I'd say, 1980s, 1990s, those are pretty good to study, I think. But like modern uh, pro games are too, uh, they're too hard. <laughs> they're just too hard. <laughs> like it's difficult to tell what people are doing. Um, okay, so now I can, I don't want to do this White cuts, and then these three stones are awful. So I want to play here. And white has to push out. And then I can push, block, Atari. I mean, not Atari. Cut, push, block, cut. And I either get these two stones in a big corner, or white extends. Then I can Atari, 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 and then play here and swallow these up. So I get this stone. Okay. See, so I'm now after these developments, I'm really glad I played L4 instead of L3. Because if I had played L3, then white K5 would have threatened this ladder and also this uh, L4 eye stealing shape shattering type move. Um, so now with L4, if white plays K5, I'm happy to extend at some point. Although I don't think, depending on what happens over here, <coughs> um, I don't anticipate that being a problem. Also, if I kill this corner or um, or what have you, then interesting. Actually, so killing the corner is maybe not out of the question completely, is it? Hmm. This. Is this good enough? White extends, I Hane, Atari, Atari. Ah. Uh, here, here, no, that's not good enough. So I want to play this later, but for now, stick with the plan. So White can exchange these Ataris but it doesn't help because this is the place. Oh, so white should extend. Mm-hmm. White should extend. I'm not reading deep enough. <laughs> this is a complicated fight. Okay, white will extend, which threatens this ladder, which is... Uh, white stone is here. So the ladder is good for white. Okay, so white extends, I play 
j6, white extends, then I Atari, Atari, and push. I'm taking big damage over here. Uh, I don't really have a goal for Yonkuseng Dojang. I'm just kind of enjoying it. Um, to get number one rating, I'd have to keep beating Josh consistently, um, which is possible, but I don't know. I'd expect us to go 50-50 in any game. Um, and he's very consistent against other players. I don't think he's lost to someone other than me in a really long time, whereas I tend to drop a game or two to the lower players pretty often. Okay, so white extends, and I... Do I save these two stuff? Maybe if white extends, I play b3 right away. Hmm. That could be delicious. Because then white can play... Because actually, I have good ladder breakers. Um... I have good ladder breakers. And if white has to spend two more moves to capture these two stones, it'll be really strong for the center. But if I get strong moves against this group and then a ladder breaker like this, which uh, is a ladder breaker, um, this and a Hane, then I can... White might get this, but maybe it's not that big of a deal overall. I don't know if this is too soon though, B3, but I'm going to play it <laughs> without really thinking too hard. It just looks so tempting. Um, I would really like for white to push here. Well, I could capture. Anyway, B3 is... I didn't really read much stuff out, but this is more about uh, mind games and putting pressure on my opponent. Because it looks difficult to deal with. Um. Hmm. Okay, I am going to officially hide the chat at this point. All right. Oops. Ah, okay. They I cannot see the chat any longer. Okay. Oh, cut Atari extend. Wait, cutting directly? Go down. This one, Atari, Atari go down, Hane go down. Oh, but this one, and I capture and then go out. Okay, so now this capture is Sente against the corner. Interesting. Okay, so now either white adds a move here, in which case b3 was a great success, or white plays j6, and then I cut.
to kill the corner. And still I'll have this uh, ladder breaker later on these two stones, which will be pretty big. But yeah, cut immediately. Am I hallucinating? Atari, go down. This one, cut. Atari here. So White can give it up, and then Hane, go down. Okay, so White can sacrifice just these two stones. By playing at B2. Oh, if White plays B2 immediately, that saves it. So I should play B2. B2, Link, go down, Honey, go down. Oh, B2 definitely looks like the proper move. This one here. Atari. Okay. At the very least, I should be able to play E2 and B6 in Sente, and this should be a Saki, I think at the least. Or some kind of co. Because clearly the shape, you know, if I descend here and I descend here, then the shape, uh, it's not going to make two eyes anytime soon. And then I'll come back and play this. This is thick, but I think because I get this good ladder breaker, it'll be okay. If I didn't have a good ladder breaker, like if this were a net, then I would really need to get something out of this corner because this is so strong. Huh? Now I can cut. Cut Atari. Yeah, cut. This Atari doesn't work. Then I have three liberties and white only has two. So that's simply working for me. This, one, this Atari, this one, link, and extend. this, this, and then here. Oh, I can make a co that way, actually. <laughs> I do have unlimited co threats. <laughs> but I don't really want to do that right away. What if I just play on the outside like this? Or play this one? Oh, this is the kind of life and death that should be simple. Should be trivial for me if I wanted to like be a really strong player. But I just don't know. But th I'm sure this cut leaves a throw in a black captures first cold. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. 
Force, force. This one, what does white do? Link. Here, empty triangle. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm going to play this first. <laughs> E2. Wow, okay, captures directly. Okay, so I think I want to play this now. This one looks good to split the stones, but white extends. I block white hanes. Uh, I'm going to play this one. Okay, now. Don't get any crazy ideas. I'm gonna, oops, turn on the light. Oh. Oh. But uh, technically speaking, this group only has one clear eye. So if I get stones here, 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 and here, I can, you know, cleanly kill. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> oh, okay. So overall, this opening... Oh, that one. This is another indication. Uh, moving the stone directly is, I think, not a good idea. Because now I get to play here, and this group is heavy. That is... clear. Yeah, so I don't think ta running this one stone out was was the right timing. I think white should have extended to R8, probably, if you want to play on the right side. Otherwise, you could do something to save this corner, because it looks, <laughs> uh, looks not so good. <laughs> but I'm still not really sure. I mean, I guess I know I have the Ko. I can play the Ko whenever. Actually, if I just descend, white's going to have to do like an A2 Hane or something. Jump out, okay. I could just jump, keep developing the bottom. I could link or play Tiger Mouth. Maybe I want to play the code now. Although it would be a shame to make a code in this corner if I could kill it outright. But actually, just jumping. Hmm. If I jump, there's still definitely white can still do something in the corner, like with R3. So this one, and does it? Does it put that much pressure on here? What's the follow-up? I guess surround like this, and then jump here and build this area. All right, why not? What do I want to do with these two stones? If I link and white jumps, and then I push, and white responds, and then I play something, I could potentially turn this into territory. Or tiger mouth and then go down and then leave it, but then C12 looks too easy for white.
I could play S12, actually. I could play S12 immediately. Maybe I should have played that instead of here. No, I don't think so. I think this was right. Or at least not bad. Because it does look to make this big box in the bottom right. But if I get S12 next, if white blocks at S11, then I play R13. Oh, and then white wet pushes here, link, go down, push. That's not really that good. Yeah, that doesn't really do that much for me. <clears throat> oh, wow. Not really sure about this. I should close Steam. I thought about bumping like this, but that seems not really good. What about here? Here? Play from the outside? This one, white's gonna attach. Actually, this looks tempting. Yeah. <laughs> because, so the thinking is if white pushes here, well, if white pushes either direction, it's running into my stones now. Um, so my hope is that I assume I might attach a P3. Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, Q3, wow. Okay, so now is the question. I can play Q4. P3, P4, Hane. Extend, let white live in the corner, but I take this. Or, and spoiler alert, this is what I'm going to do, is R3. Because I don't want to give white an easy base with this group. Wow. Uh-huh. Boot. Block. Cut. <laughs> Hane. <laughs> empty triangle. Link. Oh, that's awful. Okay. <laughs> so cut. I mean, Hane. Cut. Maybe extend here. And then white can Atari here and I link. Or here and I link. Either way. Hmm. Or clamp? That looks evil. But that's then white's getting out. I wanna do this one and then here. Oh wait, this 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 if white goes down and I play this cut. Oh, I might be in trouble. A little bit of trouble. What on earth did I get myself into here? Honey underneath? Maybe, okay, a Han H, Atari, go down, and then go down. Then white gets to Atari and push through. That makes me sad. Link. Then I think. 
think I'm giving up a stone. This clamp. Mm. <laughs> Start the co <cone> now. <laughs> I think this one, maybe Atari down here, extend, and then link. And then if white pushes through, then I swallow all this up. And if white Atari is through, then this is secure. All right. Watch white's not even going to cut. <laughs> all that reading for not. Maybe N6 was a little bit too much. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It was interesting. If I end up securing all this territory, even if white gets out, I think it's not bad. The game is will not be bad because, I mean, this is not that many points. This is solid. This can still be attacked. So white doesn't really have that much territory. And I've got one more move and i got 20 up here. No, not 20. Almost 20. And if I get all this, that's like another 20. Plus, I can easily make some points here, so not bad. This Atari, I didn't really consider, but I don't see how that could be good. Oh, actually, after black, I mean, after white extends, I think I can extend here to P3. Because I have this stone now. Mm. Okay. So that makes the corner territory a little bit more secure. Oh, this immediately? Hmm. Capture or extend? To capture, then there's no more forcing moves. White can extend. Push. I can still push through this one. I feel like this one is going to give white this Atari later, and then maybe this Q5 to make some shape and destroy the area, whereas this one... It's a little bit less pressure on these stones, but it's super secure. And there's no more, there's nothing left in this area. No more forcing moves. So I'm going to capture. Okay. So to push white hanes, then I cut, and I get to have fun attacking some more. So I push, white push, push, and split them. I think I have to do that. Um, I don't see a clear way to keep attacking these, but I don't want it to just link up over here. And if I get a row of stones here, this group only has one eye. <laughs> Don't think it can't happen.
So the idea is that I don't know if this is good thinking or not, but this area was like kind of my influence and it got destroyed. But pushing through like this and splitting them means that uh, white's influence with this group is now going to be zero. It's actually in danger of becoming a weak group. <coughs> um, uh -huh. To push wedge? I don't well, I could wedge Atari and push. I can just go out with empty triangle. So this Atari, and then what? It's going to be a tiger mouth. I don't really want to give white more strength, like right next to these two stones, because these two stones are not that strong. So if I attach Hane extend, then I'm splitting. There's still a weakness. I'm do I'm doing it. I'm gonna stop talking because that's what I'm gonna do. But this attach. I'm splitting the two groups. There'll still be a weakness if white hanes. If white doesn't hane, then if white just extends, I might consider splitting here and just going all out, <laughs> all out aggressive fighting. Which is really not my style, but. I was not having the best day, so <laughs> to let all of my fury and rage out on the Goban, where it's uh okay. Hmm. <coughs> so if white extends and I split with the knight's move, then white can, if white bends over here to run out this way, then this group is starting to get surrounded. Um, if white pushes out this way, then this group is starting to get surrounded. Joyous, joyous times. Regardless, um, this is not the kind of game that white can enjoy. <laughs> um, already, it must be an unenjoyable game for white. Because even if this group lives, it's got uh, like m absolute maximums, 12 points. And I don't even think that's possible, because I should at least get a Ko or a Seki or something out of this. So like 12... Um, so like 25, assuming I get to play D14, I think I should, but I don't know, even if I don't. Solid, solid territory, white has like 30 points maximum, and potential three weak groups. So even though I don't have that much territory myself, I'm assuming I should get B6. That one is definitely mine. I should definitely get that one, because it's like super sente. Um, actually, if I play this, what does white do? Extend, then I cut, and then I can kill. If white plays this one, then I go down. This one, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll come back to that later, because... Should I play the knight's move or the diagonal? Hmm. Or attach? Maybe diagonal. Then to push. Push. 
keep splitting. Also, as I I briefly mentioned, these two stones, like if white connected these two groups and then got to play R6, then these two stones could become a weak group. So I like I like playing a move with them. Um, also, I just want to make a quick remark about uh, psychology, like the psychology of uh, Go and like gaming and competition. So, Two Cookies started the game by saying, I, I said, congrats on making it up to A-League, and he said, haha, thanks, I'm ready to get dominated over and over. And so that's like a losing attitude, right? Like, I feel like from that comment, he he was expecting to lose going into this game and it's kind of i feel like it's showing up in the play um where like anytime i make a threat he responds like respond respond jump out respond run away run away i do this now he responds over here so i feel like he maybe he was a little intimidated um so don't do that in your games don't be afraid you can beat anyone even alpha go this is AlphaGo's move. <laughs> this peep, and if white links, then I push and cut. So before I couldn't just push and cut because why would Atari and push through? I actually didn't read it, but this looked like the proper sequence to peep. So with this exchange on the board, if white blocks, then this cut. These two stones are much stronger than if it's just one stone. Push. If I link, then these exchanges were bad. Although if I don't link, if I push and let white play this, then this group is definitely alive. So I link, white links, and then I attach here. I think pushing should be okay. But if I push white lives mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to let white live immediately if I play this one then white is not alive uh, link and I push out and we keep fighting if I do this one white plays here and is completely alive I split this one stone, but how do I use this wall? I have to attack this. Mm, I don't know. This might be a really bad move, but I'm going to try it. So I can link now, or extend. Extending is much better for eventually targeting this group. Linking might get me sent a to play a bamboo, because otherwise I push and cut. I think I really want sent a to play this bamboo, because if I extend, white clamps. If I push out, white wedges, Atari. Oh, that's looking really bad for these stones. So I think I will link. And then Bamboo keeps the fight up. 
and later I can jump to J8. I guess I could honey. Eh, why don't I just make the bamboo good shape? So now I feel better about this move. Um, because this group is still clearly a target. I sh oh, I should take care about this wedge. Atari, link, cut. So I have to consider that if these stones ever get surrounded out here, then this wedge would hurt. But I feel like this bamboo now is making me eye of this push at M12, or maybe a knight's move, to attack this group, and also uh, J8 to attack this group and this group. I don't know. Now S12 totally takes away the eye space. If I play S12, if white blocks, then I can clearly bamboo to cut these stones and take a really big corner. S12, and if white plays R12, then I play S11 to link up over here. So that's big for the territory over here, and keeps white with no eyes. So S12 is looking good, eventually, but that one, okay. So the first thought is to jump, and if white extends, then I tiger mouth, and then when I link, I'll have good influence here, and I'll be attacking this group still. I could also jump here. I feel like white is going to extend and then play here, and then these groups have some connection, so I'm just going to keep them split. Even if white extends, I could still play this potentially later, or threaten it. Um, this is not enough eye space to live yet, right? I feel like white's definitely going to have this one eye. Um, killing this one stone. Although it's not 100%. If I push white Ataris and then I play this Atari, white captures extent. So if I have a stone around here, then I could actually reduce this to zero eyes. Yeah. So I'll keep that in mind. So if white extends here, then I play Hane, which is really painful for white, because then this is completely enclosed. I will be very happy if I get this honey. So I think white needs to extend. Maybe play this break the bamboo shape, but I don't, I don't know how much that actually helps. I still get to play tiger mouth. That's automatic. Okay, life and death problem. Assume that this white group is completely surrounded on the outside, so it only has this one eye, it can't make any more eyes out here. And let's also assume that this corner for white is completely alive. Like white has stone here and here and here, so it's 100% alive. 
how does white make a second eye down at the bottom? I, um, it might come up later in the game, but um, for white to make a second eye down here, I actually did not know this until last season. I went over it in the review. I th was it? Uh, I mean, last month? I can't remember if it was February or January. But this it was like this exact shape to make a second eye down here, and I did not realize I could do it. Oh, that was against Vincent. Vincent CB in February. That was that game. This... So first thought is to play here. Attach, Hane, cut, Atari, extend, link. Yeah, I don't need to think. <laughs> cut first, think later. <laughs> That's the long stride way. <laughs> but the, the long stride way is to not even think about reacting with this stone. 017, no chance. This is white trying to uh, reverse attack or like try to get some forcing moves by leaning on my weakness. I, I will not be leaned on. <laughs> this one. You won't be pushed around. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn my phone over so it stops blinking at me. So, when moves like N14 or something like this, so like your opponent plays N16, if you're thinking, oh, how do I respond for O17? Should I play N17 or O16 to strengthen this stone? If you're thinking like that, then um, um, that's maybe that's an indication um, of like I don't want to say well like weaker or like cuer, more like Q level thinking where my opponent does something to me. Uh, how do I respond to it? What what's the best way, you know, to handle my stones? Whereas when you get more into don level, um, your opponent threatens your group. And you just think, like, I'm not going to respond to that. That's garbage. I'm going to attack them instead. Because um, you can imagine, like, it would be, it's maybe it seems perfectly reasonable, right? If white plays N16 and I play N17 and white pushes and I push and push and I jump and then white can play here. White can get a nice wall here and jump and, like, completely secure this group with really good shape. Um and I'm going to get some third line territory out of that, not good enough. Um, so I want to keep it, since I'm in such a good, I've got such a strong corner and this shape is really strong, um, since it's so strong, I definitely want to keep up the pressure and keep fighting. So first instinct, split, split your opponent's stones. No mercy. <laughs> Oh, and and I I think that's one of the areas that I've improved on, personally over the last couple of years. I used to think, in this situation, I would think, oh, I could just uh, push, 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 take my territory on top, and then I've got this and this, and I can get something here, and that that should be enough to win, right? Because white doesn't have that much. That's probably true, but uh, it might be true, but um, but I need to keep keep going it's like uh, like you're running a big race and you get tired you just say oh I'll just walk for a while no you have to dig deep and start running even faster than you were before it's a battle of wills Watch, I'm just going to completely die everywhere <laughs> because of this fight. <laughs> that would be really funny after talking <laughs> so much about how, oh, you have to fight back, don't defend your own stones, and then I end up dying. <laughs> but uh, I think that's unlikely. <clears throat> So 
so cut. I think extend then. I could Atari, but White might play this Atari. Oh. So now if I link this one here, mm. if I link the attack is over after the Satari and cover, or is it, I can Atari and extend, but then I'm surrounded and white is surrounded, so that's dangerous. Okay, so I, if I play this, and white cuts, and I extend, then white has this ladder, so that's a disaster. So if I tiger mouth, white cuts, and I Atari, and then extend, Then white's still going to get out, but I will swallow up the stone. Actually, Atari and play here. Then what? Atari, Atari, and just give up this stone? Play on the outside? That looks good. What's the problem with that? Atari, Atari. Uh, uh can't surround in one move, so I, I should always have a chance to come back here. Atari, Link, Atari, Extend, Atari, Atari, uh. Still has to come back and capture, and then I cut, and then this is only one eye. So White will have to play Gote over here to make a second eye. And this is super strong, so then I come back and split these two groups and continue enjoying the game. All right. Let's hope that was the only possible sequence. <laughs> no one has time to read other sequences. Got places to be. If I capture, white captures, then I can't attack anything anymore, so that's out of the question. So if I Atari, then white plays double Atari, I capture, white captures. So I should play this Atari? Still, I don't really care if white does anything here. My corner is strong, so it's fine. If I play this Atari, white does something here, then I... Oh, that one? Oh. I would much rather have the Panuki, but I don't want to give white a Panuki right here, because then I, I have nothing left against this group. If I just link, cut, extend, this is still okay, but link, cover here, this is what I wanted to avoid. 
I did not want to get covered or surrounded here. So I think it needs to be this one. Link. Then Tiger Mouth. If white responds, then I can come back and play. Leave this and come back here. Okay. And if white doesn't respond, then happy times are here. Because I get to play this Atari and split and everything. This was, I like this exchange, this Atari, uh, white playing K12. Getting that stone on the board was uh, important, I think. So, if white cuts, link, capture, capture, or cut, extend, double Atari, extend, Atari, extend, capture, then I play elsewhere. If I get this capture, then I can attack really severely with uh, J8 or J9. Otherwise, I don't want to forget that this group of mine could become weak. I don't want to have to... I mean, Q7 is not a bad point to play in terms of territory. But I don't want to have to play it. What would AlphaGo do? What would AlphaGo do? Hmm. Oh, let's not forget I can play C4 to make a Ko at any time. Okay, so now this one, white responds, then I come back and cut, or link here, white cuts, extend, peep, mm, maybe I link here? Regardless, this one for sure. Okay, so these two groups, I'm going to consider them safe, even though technically I can empty triangle and push, and actually, that's that's a good point. I can still push out and cut eventually. Oh, maybe. No, maybe not. Hmm. Anyway, so link here or link here. This one invites many more complications after this cut or clamp or anything. This one cleanly takes the point. It's time to take a little profit, I think. Okay, so I traded in the coupon. <laughs> I was attacking these. I can't really attack these groups anymore, but in return I made this N16 stone look really silly. It's like a donation. So what next? Hmm, what, what, what to do next? Okay, so 
I did mention that this group only has one eye. I did mention that it's possible for me to push white plays here and then I play this Atari. White captures and extend and then these are false eyes as long as I can save these two stones. So technically I could allow this all to be connected and still kill it. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, get right on that. Okay, so now if I play Tiger Mouth to fix this one stone, white pushes, I play this one, white Ataris, I link this one, then I can play here and just say this is big enough to win the game. Um, this group becomes weak, so if white plays another move, okay, so this this, 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 this. Okay, white plays another move here, then I come back here. It does allow me to be attacked, which I don't like. But I don't want to just allow white to capture this, do I? I could if I had a big attack somewhere else. Let's do this. I guess white might just pull back. In which case I can honey, honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that this group, I'm I'm gonna forget about trying to kill this whole thing. That's silly. Now that this is out and connected. And there's uh, more stones here. It's. I feel like I need to seriously think about this group because if I don't kill the corner, then this group could be attacked. What? Maybe this is too much, but this should not be. Push, block Atari, go down, this one. Go down. That's good for me. Hmm, I don't know. Do not know about this one. Uh, maybe White is planning to extend and then Atari here and push, but then this group will still be very weak. And if White pushes now, then this is a bad exchange. I'll play Atari. mercilessly. Hmm. Hmm. I did not consider this. I kind of want to play Atari and Link, so I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> if I get this Link, then I can push here to cut. So, I 
this push is big. And if white pushes out, I think I push here. Or maybe that maybe just a, maybe push is too much, maybe link. Link is good enough. Um, okay, so I have four and a half minutes left. What? Can White save this group down here? Could it extend? I could extend, couldn't I? Atari. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to, because I might want to push here. But I all right, I'm gonna surround this group. Um, so I have three and a half minutes left now, and my opponent is now in Yoyomi, so 30 seconds per move. Okay. So here's the question. <coughs> I can jump down here like this, but is that wise? If I jump and white pushes and I link and white hanes, then I don't think I can prevent the two eyes over here. So if I this push and I answer cut Atari and go out, that does look like it's working. Okay, so this this, 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 this. Okay, I have two minutes left. I should consider this. What about jumping? Push, block, jump here. Yeah, no chance. Okay. Ah, whatever. How many times do you live? <laughs> if I can't kill this, I'll just kill this instead. <laughs> also, I could start this co at any time, but now this is too big. So I think I want to use these as co-threats. That's a good idea. This is working for me, is it not? Push, block, cut, go down. That's... That is one eye. Cut, Atari, extend, extend. And this group is strong now. Because it's got this really nice tiger mouth shape and it's... It can jump out. Even Atari, jump, no problem. Sorry, extend, extend. No problem. Unless I'm hallucinating really big here. Like super big time. But I don't see how. White can't catch these two. Okay, that's white's privilege. But it doesn't help to make two eyes. Block, peep. Peep, link, push, push here. Yeah, there's nothing. Go down. This one, Hane. Eh? 
Yeah, this is just one eye inside. Peep link. Bamboo-ish? Cut? Oh, that could actually be slightly problematic. But I should treat this as sente. If it's if I play this and white doesn't respond, then it, it shouldn't matter. I capture this, get all this territory. Plus, this is strong. This is now territory for me after these exchanges. So. gotta be it's gotta start with this peep push block peep link bambooish cut link a push oh oh it's okay that's okay bambooish doesn't Aha, so if I were a foolish player, actually, I could Hane, right? Then this, 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 this. So I can make one eye. This one. Atari, mm, I don't know. Just linking is proper on the outside. If I play this, Atari, go here, here. This one. Right, that's the proper way. So this one I need to cut, push block, here, here, oh, oh, push. Anyway, this is kind of nice because I can come back and capture these stones if I get sente, but this cut I have to play, this push I have to block, link. Then Atari and this ladder works. Wait, does it? Cut, push, block, link, Atari, Atari. Oh my god, it doesn't work. Wait, no, it does. Oh, because this liberty is open. Oh. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> um, That one, I think it's okay because I'm going to get plan B, like I had mentioned before, which is this Atari. So now White can play this one. I block, but actually if white plays this one, oh yeah, this one I block, this Atari I capture, this one to make two eyes, then I push and this is all mine. <clears throat> okay, that is not a bad move I think. But I think I... Do I want to get greedy? I'm not going to get greedy. I'm just going to capture. <laughs> get rid of all the Aji. <laughs> right. Okay. So white lived. 
but the outside is in sort of shambles. I think pushing here is not too small. Okay, so that one, sure. So I think I'll just extend. I could, I could Hane? No, why do that? I could Hane, but that gives white a forcing move, so why not just extend and then I can play this Hane. Hmm. All right. That one. If I push, go down, cut. So I think I want to push and push. Or I could I can just do this. Why not? Why not just do that? It's fine. Cut, okay. Okay, so now where would white make any co threats? There's not really many good co threats, so I'm going to play this now. So if I can Atari, go down, link, this one. Oh, interesting. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that changes anything. Atari, link, go down, this link, and I play here. So it's still going to be a co for the corner now. Um, so where are my co-threats? I guess I was thinking I have one, two co-threats here. Those are pretty big. And white co-threats. This Atari's not, s not too small. That's one. This is the kind of thing you should really look at before you make the co. <laughs> That's not enough. But I think he probably doesn't, maybe he doesn't see the co, actually. Interesting, this one. I want to keep this group a little bit uncomfortable. Hmm. I'm hungry. I had to whisper. It was a secret. <laughs> so now this push is Sente to capture these stones. Why don't I just do that and secure this corner? So I've got a lot of territory here, a lot of territory here. Um what else what else what else what else okay actually push block atari capture and go here 
I can reduce it to no eyes. <laughs> so maybe I'll extend here, and maybe this is bigger than it looks, because I can threaten this and push and push and cut. Yeah, maybe that's actually bigger than it looks. I don't know how big it is, actually. That doesn't look right. Anyway, he can't kill it because I can uh, play here and kill these stones at any time. So that looks like uh, grasping at straws, perhaps? Let's exchange this first. Okay. Hmm. I don't. I have way more points. If I can play one more move and kill this unconditionally, so then I have three big corners, and he has one. So, let's just not get crazy here. <laughs> Let's just make sure this group is alive. This and this. Uh huh. Push. Net doesn't quite work. Because push, block, Atari, link, link. And then this stone is actually in a good spot. Anyway, what extends? I can still do this. And white cannot block. This one, actually, what about farther out, like this? No. This one, push link? Oh wait, this one. Okay, I'm in sudden death now. If I block, push here, this, this, Atari, link. Okay. So these exchanges might be bad if white cuts and gets to kill these. But still, if I play one more move, this is all territory, all territory, all territory, and white just doesn't have anything. So I should really try to avoid crises, especially considering I'm in sudden death. What? This one, here, here, cut, then I can link. Actually, not quite. Ah, but I'm in sudden death. <laughs> I'm in sudden death. <laughs> Push, block, net. Sorry, and it's this is captured. Okay. I'm just gonna connect. I could cut, but this cut, then this Atari, and I wait. Th this cut, cut. I don't know. It's too much. If white does this, then I net, and happy times are here, because these are dead. Hooray. So white has to turn out, and then I can link, and then if white cuts, then I cut here. And that's pretty big.
this one, then here, then this doesn't really work. What? <laughs> That is a misread. <laughs> and that's definitely game over. Because now my only potentially weak group is a uh, very not weak group, and I can still cut at J8. However, I am in sudden death. So. But that one. Okay, now this Ko, I guess, could be really big. I don't know. This is. I'll just finish this. I don't care. This cut is actually really big if I can kill this group, but. Um, no, I'm, I'm way ahead. So <laughs> I don't need to kill this group to win. I'd rather just make sure this is dead so that I don't somehow lose this Ko in, in sudden death. And then. Uh, blow it. Okay, resigned. Okay. <laughs> that was so tiring, he said. Ah, this keyboard is awful. I have to get a new keyboard. This is garbage. Um, Thought if I could live by giving you three stones. Mm.
Uh, okay. Do, do, do. Oh, so I have to save it. Um, I was black, so two oops, cookies. One of these days, this uh, save file is going to be something incriminate. Uh, this directory, it's not going to be AYD season 14 March. It's going to be like something else, and I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> One of these days, but today is not that day. Okay, so view. Oh, I should first upload the game, and then I will look at the chat, which I have. Uh, I'm so sorry that I have been ignoring it, but I don't want to spoil the one-on-one. -on -one. It should be one-on-one -on -one, uh, with my opponent. So it would not be right if I were seeing um, kibitz during the game. So okay, it's uploading the game. Very good. Okay, looking at the chat as of now. Okay. Um, oh, a battery. Oh, Twitch Turbo. Cool. Okay, so I missed... Ooh, I missed a lot. Jeez. <laughs> sorry for getting you into Rocket League, Ina the Zuma, but I'm not sorry because it's the most fun game ever. Well, not most fun, but I'm definitely... Rocket League is the most fun I've had since I started playing Go, which was like five years ago. And before that, probably StarCraft, the original. <laughs> Seeing KGS on Twitch. Yeah, there's really not many people play games on KGS, I think. I don't know. Uh-huh. I want to attack all groups, because I thought... So, this was kind of the moment where, you know, I could play something like this, and this, and just say this lives, and whatever. Whatever, just take points here, take points here, and here. And I think black is leading on territory, but it's too easy. It's too simple for white, like white... White could do something, like maybe take the corner, or keep doing something here, or, I don't know, invade, in, I don't know. So I felt like I wanted to keep white weak, with lots of weak groups, so here's another opportunity where I could play somewhere else, but I want to split these groups so that um, white has to spend the whole game just trying to live with these groups, and as long as I don't go crazy, I should be able to just gradually collect enough points from attacking. So that was the idea. Um, this time it worked pretty well. Uh, F2, E2, F1. Aha, yes. <laughs> Very good. That was the life and death problem. So if we assume really quickly. So if we assume that this group is like, you know, super alive, and we also assume that uh, this group is completely surrounded, so it can't make any more eyes, white can play this one. E2 and then F1. So that was the, the life and death problem. Which I did not see this in my game one month ago. A little over a month ago, I to this totally blind spot, um, and it was really important in that game because I kept thinking about the life and death of that group, and I didn't, I didn't see this. So um, that's one of the reasons why it stuck out so clearly to me in this shape. I was like, I have seen this, and I, I was uh, ashamed that I didn't see it, la or I didn't see the solution last time. So okay, da -da -da. Atari. K12 first. I think that's the Atari I missed, isn't it? Where I said it was a good move. Yeah, White's K12 Atari. I did not consider that ahead of time. You're right, and it was, it was good. I still am in a good situation, but yeah. Is C4 really a co? Aha, E2. So here's the reading in the bottom left. If I miss something, um, let me 
please skip through S15. P15 instead of Q15. I'll go over the co in a minute. P15 instead of Q15. Wait. Ah, P15 instead of Q15. So the reason, what was the reason? Um, the reason is that there's this Atari and then here to try to make an eye. And if I try to take it away, then I push. And if I try to cut, then, oh, shoot. White plays this and I can't cut because then all these stones die. Um, so I have to go, if I cut, I have to go out here and then white can link. And it's more or less the same as the game. So this way also would have worked. Um, but I play, this is kind of the proper way to remove this Atari. I don't want to let white have any forcing moves that could pot potentially make an eye at 013. So that's why I just linked directly. Uh, in this case, maybe it didn't matter, but in general, this is the proper move when your opponent clamps this sort of clamp shape. Um, hello, what's Genki? Welcome to Go. You are most uh, fortunate to have found it. Ah, Go is the best. Hopefully there, I, I imagine there might be a lot of new players after the Isedo Alpha Go match, so I hope in, I hope, see, and the great thing about the Go community is everyone will be really nice and welcoming and helpful, uh, as opposed to maybe some other games where not everyone's so helpful. Uh, rich man doesn't pick fights, very good. <laughs> G12 works, J13 instead of J, J11, oh, I don't know. Ah, okay, you found it. Okay, so going over the co in the bottom left, um, so it's this cut. <laughs> Straight line, it's a powerful shape, difficult, difficult to fight against. <laughs> um, so here's how you beat a straight line. You make two straight lines, because two is more than one. <laughs> um, okay, so this, this shape, even after this one, this exchange, um, so clearly this one doesn't work, because then white has two liberties, black has three, so simple for black to kill. So this one is more interesting, Atari, Link, and then that's Atari on these two two stones, so white links, and then black plays A2. Um, so if white tries to Atari from this side, white has to link first, but then black plays this, and white can't do this because it's self-Atari. Um, and if white tries to go down the other side, same thing, if white goes down, then um, black takes the liberty here, and then this is self-Atari, so can't go over here. So it's really cool. Oh, it's a shortage of liberty, so white is dead, right? Not quite. Almost. There's a co. Um, so if you couldn't get to this point, if you want to take a couple seconds, uh, I have to go soon, so just a couple seconds. If you're watching on YouTube, pause the video, try to find the co. If you're not, I'm just going to go over it right now. Okay. Um, so white can throw in at A3. So this is Atari. So black's only move is to capture. And then white goes down here. Atari on the one stone. And black can't link, of course, because that's self Atari. So um, black goes down here, Atari. And then white captures. And it's a call. Um, so that's the code that I was reading since the beginning of the game, and I was trying to f figure out um, if in this situation, if I could do something like E2, and then this one, and here, or something like this to try to um, kill it outright without that co. But I never really had time to do a lot of reading, and then at the end of the game it didn't really matter. I didn't need to kill it outright, so the co was good enough. 
O sixteen at O fourteen kills. O sixteen at O fourteen. So white links and then black cuts here. White links here. Tari. Ooh. <sighs> Tari. Extend. And then capture these stones, huh? Yeah, I. Do I see anything else? Link. Then. Cut and Atari. So this should be fine. I'll kill one or the other. Yeah, I think you're right. I think 014. Link here. Same thing. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I definitely missed that. J12 at J11. That's true. J12 at J11. I. Oh. No, I don't think so in this case. Well, so I can extend. Maybe it is. So if white responds up here, then I play this. That's the goal to surround this group. That does look really good. Maybe you're right again. If I extend and white plays this, then. It's going to be more or less the same, right? If I link here, Atari, jump. Mm, I'm not sure, not sure. If I link here, cut. Maybe if I wanted, mm, I'm not sure. What, I would need a really good follow up. Uh, it's not necessary, but it, it did give me really strong shape. I, l I really like the suggestion. I'm also not 100% sure about it. I think you could be right. I would need to look at uh, variations more. I was just happy to get this uh, tiger mouth shape in Sente. So I could come back here. But yeah, exchanging this Atari for the connection, maybe not, uh, not worth it. I'm not sure. And S16 at S12. Oh, that one. I did think about that. I didn't mention it, but um, S12. Uh, push, block, push. Okay, now what? Play here, then here. So that's fine. Wait, this one? Oh, wait. Cuts. Anyway, link. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Oh, da, 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 da. I got to play here, then here, here. 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 Doesn't look like there's anything. That does look good. So the only thing I will say is that it does look good. However, white could switch and just take the corner, right? And uh, sacrifice these and take the corner. So that's uh, <laughs> still a very, very good result for black, obviously. Definitely good enough to win. But um, if I want to kill everything, then I should play the same way except uh, 014 <laughs> and still kill everything. So, anyway. Okay, I have to go because the real review is starting and I have to uh, take care of some personal business quickly. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, <laughs>
Sorry, next time I'll kill it. Um, yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for watching, and thanks everyone on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, um, as always, any comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, I'll be busy schedule. Uh, my next game should be it's scheduled for Saturday afternoon, so one o'clock Pacific Daylight Time on Saturday, and then uh, next Tuesday should be pretty much every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time for the next. Uh, oh, actually, this is the last one before the break, so at the end of March it'll be over for a month. Um, but yeah, so this Saturday and then a week from tonight and then two weeks from tonight will be the next three games and that should be great so great yeah thank you for watching and keep playing what's Genki you already have a Japanese username so you're perfect candidate for go people who like uh, Japanese culture always like uh, go unless if you're actually Japanese and it's just a Japanese name because you're Japanese then sorry for stereotyping you I apologize <laughs> <laughs> okay bye-bye uh,